hello friends welcome to my channel Rex Rahul in previous video we have seen how can we use or create a data entry form and store the data in another sheet which is employee data sheet so we have stored couple of records here in today's video we will apply search on this data the key columns for search will be employee ID and name so if user try to search using employee ID or name the records will be fetched so here's the simple demo how search will work whenever user types a text and click on search button the results will be displayed so let's get started so this is the data entry form through which we are saving the data below it we will be creating the search UI so let me quickly create it for you let's add a button position the button correctly and add header for the data so just copy it from the employee data sheet so our UI is ready whenever a user enters a name and clicks on search so the search will be applied on employee ID and name and the result will be displayed here so first of all what we will have to do we will have to create a search column so in this search column we will have the combined data of employee ID and name so now add a formula to combine A column and B column we will be combining it with a comma so keep it from B to colon B so you can see comma separated employee ID and name here let's populate below rows also and let's try one thing if our formula also works for the new record or not so create any new record so keep it number 1111 at gmail.com check employee data yes the row is created but our formula is not working so what we will have to do we will have to add an array formula here so this has to be an array formula so here write it as array formula and wrap the concatenation for this to work we will have to delete the below data so here you can see the concatenation worked but you can also see where the data is empty there is a comma so we have to remove it so we will filter the record whose employee ID is empty so A2 so let's assume only we have to check employee ID for now because every row must have employee ID so now you can see comma is removed let's now create a new function search in app script so open app script and this my function is the function we have added here in previous video so this function is to create the record we will be creating a new function so let's create it so write function search so in this search function we will be using these three 
variables as as form and employee data so but we will be we won't be able to use it if that is it that is in my function so we will copy it outside of the my function so that we can access it from my function and search so now we can access those three variables in search function as well as in my function so first of all so first of all what will you have to do whenever a user search whenever user clicks on search that result should be cleared so whatever the result in this area should be cleared first so we will write as form dot get range so we will get the range so here the range is a19 to e colon so we will write as a19 colon e and we will clear content of that range so this is done let's save the script and test it so let's add some dummy data in this area let's td so let's see if that td is cleared or not select search function to execute and click on run so execution is completed and you can see the dd is removed from here so the next task is to get the search text so whatever the user enters here in c15 so we will have to get that search text so get the search text in a variable so name it search text form dot get range so the range is c15 and get its value get value so whatever user types will be stored in search text so let me add description here get search text after that check if the search text is empty or not so for that write if so write if search text is empty then we don't have to do anything so don't apply filter on the data so and if search text contains some data then we will have to apply the filter on this column f column so let's get the data this whole data in a variable so let's say const data equal to employee data so this employee data is this one it is coming from employee data sheet so employee data dot get range so we have to get all the data so the range will be r this a2 starting from a2 and to the f column a2 column f so we'll have to get all the values let me add some description here now let's apply filter on data so we will write data dot filter and from the data we will filter out all the records in which search column contains a search text which the user provided so 0 1 2 3 4 5 so the index of this column is fifth so we will write t5 
dot will convert it to to a string and and just for this example we don't want this search to be case sensitive so we will do to uppercase so we will do dot index of and we will find the index of the value in search text in d5 column so d5 is this column search column so if the index is found the return will be greater than minus 1 and we will have to return true from this filter so just write it greater than minus 1 and uh, actually we have to convert it to to a string also this search text and convert it to uppercase yes so let me add some description here return the statement result in this filter and save the filter records in a variable let's say so create a variable filtered records in this filter records variable the array of the filtered data will be stored so let's write some description here for this so now we already have the filter records we just now have to display this filter records to the user so this is the area where we will display the search result and the search result we are having in this variable filter records so what we will do is for every filter record we will display or append a row in the form sheet result area so for every record let's say fr is the single record in filter records so we now have to append this fr in form so this is the form so go to app script and write form dot append row and we have to append fr this single record so let's test this functionality so first of all uh, user have entered raks and in the record you can see raks there are two entries which contains raks so that should be displayed in the result area so we run the search function and execution is complete and yes those two records are displayed but you can see in the F column search column is also displayed we don't want this search column to be displayed here so what we will do we will go to the app script again and in the app script we will have to write the map function which will remove the last element from each of the array or record so go to the app script and uh, in this filter records now we have to apply map function so here we will write for every data what we have to do is to remove last element from each of the array so for that we will do d dot pop and let's add one description here after removal of last element we have to return the remaining array which is d to the filter records so let's test it now 
click on run so now you can see search column is removed from the result so let's try it with another text so go to app script and run it again execution is complete now go to your form you can see Kumar and Aman Kumar and Kamal Kumar is there so two records are fetched now the last step is to assign that search function this search function to this search button so click on three dots and click on assign script and write the name of the function click OK and now let's do a search with dharm and you can see the dharminder is displayed so let's search with 1003 employee id so 1003 and click on search we should be getting rex rahul yes so it is there and let's try another one four times one click on search yes so the search is working so that's all for this video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel rex rahul